Hi there! In today's video, I will show you how to navigate the TP-Link Tepo application for your TP-Link Tepo C110 camera. Let's get started. So, as a first thing, what we see right here after we have set up our camera, that's our camera. And by clicking on it, you'd be able to see the live video of the camera and also some settings right here. So, let's talk about the live video. We have a few options here. The first option is to do a seat in which you can add four more cameras. Or if you want to go back to the only one camera, click on the same icon right here. Then, the second thing that we can see here is the auto button. What does this do? By clicking on it, you can choose which mode you want to choose for your camera day mode, night mode, or leave it on auto. For example, by clicking on the night mode, you'll be able to switch your camera to night vision and it will be able to show you the live translate even if it's dark. The next thing that we can see right here is full screen video. By clicking on it, it will rotate like this and you'll be able to see more detailed photo. So, and we can also zoom into it. For example, if you want to see some more details, you can zoom into it and it will be still clear and sharp. Now let's move on to the controllers. So we have a few controllers right here and let's talk about them. The first controller just makes a photo which will be saved into your gallery. So by clicking here, you will do a photo. The next thing is manually recording. Between the recording that your camera does automatically, you can manually record by clicking on this second icon which looks like a camera. And you can also see the duration while recording. Now we can pause it and the video will be saved to the memory. The next thing is the audio and volume of the camera's microphone. For example, I have it muted so I won't hear myself, but you can also make it louder so you can see what the person on the camera is saying. So I will mute it again. And the next thing that we can see right here is phone call. That means that you'll be able to talk with a person which is currently near the camera and you can be on the any point of the world and still speak through the camera. And now the next feature here is the talk function. If we will click on it and wait until it will connect, now we can talk through the camera. So for example, someone is on the camera vision and you want to talk to them just simply hold this button and stop talking or start talking that's only on you i hear that the quality is not the best but this is still useful now let's move on i will still mute the camera next thing that we got right here is alarm so if we will click on it you was able to hear the sound and also the LED light. So this mode is invented. For example, when you are leaving your home and you are leaving your camera in there, it will indicate any movement and make some annoying sounds and also light to scare, for example, the robber who has breaked into your house. The next thing that we have right here is the privacy mode. So by clicking it, you will disable the camera and no longer be able to see the live video. If you want to enable it back, click on it once more and the camera will be back to live video as you can see. So the next thing that we have on this page is playback and download. If we will click on it, you'll be able to see all of the recordings that you got into your gallery. So all of the recordings that your camera has done. For example, I have this recording and you can also move it by a timeline just like this with the help of your finger. And also here you are able to download the recordings. For example, I want to download this one which is selected. For that, click on this free dots here and choose download. And that's it. Now let's move on to the settings. So to get to them, we would need to go back on the page when you see the live translate and here click on the settings icon on the right corner. Here you can see a lot of settings, for example, device info in which you can choose device icon, name, location, also change the time zone, select the Wi-Fi network and see some information. Next thing here is detection, in which you can select which type of detection you would like to enable or disable, for example, motion, person or baby crying. And also we got here detection zone, which we can zoom a little bit so it wouldn't record some things that you want to keep private. Let's move on. The next thing that we got here is the alarm. I show you how it worked before. But also here we can find some more settings. For example, alarm time, alarm sound and schedule. Let's move on. 
Next thing that we got right here is the Tefo Carefree Trial, which is the subscription, which can give you cloud storage, also rich notification with snapshots and smart talk. If you want to subscribe to this one, you will have 30 days free now and after you will need to make your first payment if you have enjoyed the subscription. Let's move on to the storage and recording. Right here you'd be able to find a local recording which is saving all the recordings on the microSD which is inserted into the camera and also take a look on the local storage, for example how many storage you have left on the microSD card. Here you can also enable or disable loop recording and format your microSD card which is basically clearing everything from that microSD card. The next thing that we have right here is recording schedule, in which you can set the times and days in which you want to do continuous recording, detection recording, or don't record at all. Let's move on, and here you can also enable or disable recording of the sound. This is especially useful if you want to record something that your kids is saying or any other purpose. So, the next thing that we got right here is video and display. In first step, we can select the video quality, which is from 720p to 2K. The next thing is invert image and also privacy zones. That means if you will enable this function, the custom privacy zones cannot be viewed or monitored to protect your privacy. Now, also we can see right here on screen display info, which we can disable or enable. For example, display timestamp, display text or display logo. And the last thing here is display tag on screen, which looks like this. Now let's go back and move on to the next tab. The next thing that we can see right here is the status LED on your camera, which is located right upper the lens. So, if you are annoyed by these red or green lights, you can just simply disable this function. Next thing is a network connection, aka Wi-Fi. I think this is kind of understandable what is it. The next thing here is the privacy mode that I showed you before. And now we got here notifications, which we can also manage, for example, enable or disable the activity notifications and enable the rich notifications if you have bought a subscription. Here we can also select an activity type which you want to get notifications about, for example, motion detection, person detection or baby crying detection. You can select the type of notifications that you would like to get. And also we got here and schedule for the notifications, for example, you can disable the notifications for the night so you wouldn't be disturbed by them. And now let's move on. Next thing here we got an advanced settings in which you can find a camera account, network settings, power line frequency or diagnostic. And also here is a interesting feature which is named share device. So this means that you can share your camera view with a trusted person and the trusted person will be able to see the live translate from the camera on their phone. But for that you would need to share it with the help of this app. And the next thing that we see here is the smart auctions on which you can see the arrive, home, turn on, all of your Tepo devices with one simple tap or the same function for leaving the home and also detection of the lines, automate devices when I leave home and automate devices when I arrive home. The next thing that we can see here is the user guide which you can read if you are having an experience with this device for a first time. You can see welcome guide through the app and also mounting guide on the camera. Now let's move on. So we got only a few things left right here. For example, feedback, in which you can set a feedback on the camera and the app to help the TP-Link make the services better. So let's go back and next thing here is the firmware update, in which you would be able to find all of the available updates for your camera and also enable or disable auto update, which will help you to not manually update your camera so you can save your time and also here you can set up the update time in which if the available is available the camera will update so you'd be able to use the camera while you need and not be distracted by the update after all of the changes don't forget to click on the save button let's go next and the next thing that we got right here is the reboot camera to fix some lags that your camera might be showing and the last thing here is remove camera from the phone exactly and that's it that was all of the things that you can find on this application and i hope this video was helpful for you and you find something helpful thank you so much for watching